How do you build your situational awareness to give you a thorough mental picture of the types of convective weather that you want to avoid? In this video, we'll discuss using Sirius XM weather products like lightning, cell movement, cloud tops, and echo tops to help you make the best weather-related decisions and avoid extreme hazards. One of the advantages of SXM lightning is that it indicates cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning, as well as cloud-to-ground lightning. A developing storm will have cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning that begins before cloud-to-ground lightning. Cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning occurs while the storm is maturing, so that data can be used in producing the picture of what areas to avoid before base radar returns are observed. Lightning strike data shows the approximate location of cloud-to-ground lightning strikes. A strike icon represents a strike that has occurred within a 2-kilometer region and within the last 7 minutes. Please be aware that lightning information will not provide exact strike location but rather provides you a tool for strategic planning. In other words, avoid those areas entirely. Storm cell movement identifies data of the highest intensity in a certain radar return, displaying storm cells, as well as each cell's projected path. Cells are represented by squares, with direction of movement indicated with short orange arrows. The tip of the arrow indicates where the storm should be in 15 minutes. The map range at which the arrow is displayed depends on the storm cell's speed. Critical information about the storm cell, such as tops and intensity, can be viewed by selecting the storm cell with the map pointer. Cloud tops is the satellite observation of clouds gathered from temperature data, where colder tops are typically found at higher altitudes. This temperature data is transformed into cloud top height contours indicating the height of the cloud top in 5,000 foot increments. Echo tops are derived from NEXRAD radar returns and indicate the highest altitude at which precipitation is sensed. The echo tops product shows both the location and elevation of the highest radar echo. The highest radar echo does not indicate the top of a storm or clouds. Rather, it indicates the highest altitude at which precipitation is detected. Echo tops at or above the altitude you select are displayed in 5,000 foot increments. The Echo Tops product is very useful in determining the severity of thunderstorms. When Echo Tops is activated, the Nexrad and Cloud Tops weather products are removed, as they cannot be displayed at the same time. Turning on your SXM Lightning, Cell Movement, Cloud Tops, and Echo Tops will help you determine the areas and altitudes you want to avoid.